So on day one of Hogwarts Legacy releasing, I uploaded a few controller settings for console players who probably like me would have felt a bit off. The game would have felt a bit off for them uh, in regards to the way it felt, the, uh, just the, the blur, the camera, sh just stupid sharp, too quick. Um, but yeah, them settings and that setting video did pretty well. And while well, you guys have given me quite a few tips to make things even better, so I'm bringing you guys an update video, the best controller settings and the best way to play this game, combat included, and that's what I bring you today. So off the bat, if you're playing Hogwarts Legacy and it just doesn't feel right, the control just don't feel right, then this video is definitely for you because let me tell you guys, you are not the only one. A lot of people have felt this way with the way this game feels. But hey, now I have your attention. If you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so controller settings for this game. Xbox, PlayStation, I guess if you play on PC with controller 2, it probably work for you also. Okay, so coming to controller settings, I'm going to show you guys the, my basic layout and what I use here. Now, I controller vibrations, obviously, up to you. That's not, not to do with this, but I hate controller vibrations, so mine's going off. But this one right here, camera relative targeting. On, default, selects active targets with the camera. Off, selects active targets with the movement stick. Grants, off screen, enemy targeting. This is a game changer for this game. Now, I've seen a couple of videos on this as well. And it, in combat, guys, this makes a whole heap of difference. If you're going, like, because I was, I was playing combat in this game. I was doing combat and it just didn't feel right. Targeting enemies, I'm trying to hit one, I'm hitting another. It was absolutely annoying. I mean, I just played it. I just thought that was the way, you, that's just the way it was. But this camera relative targeting removes that. And it allows you to target enemies much, much easier and much better so yes people definitely turn this off now um in regards to your camera sensitivity this is something you may want to play around with i mean these, these are the first settings that i had and i uploaded in that video on day one and i haven't changed anything they're perfect for me but again you may just want to change these slightly but what i have right here for me does feel perfect but hey, it's completely up to you and the way you play. So definitely try, uh, I wouldn't turn these down, by the way. I'd probably, if anything, turn them slightly up. Uh, they probably, the um, the camera speed, You, I don't know if you need, really need to adjust this. This is just the way I like to play these kind of games. But yeah, just play around with these guys. I wouldn't recommend turning them down, like I said. But just do what you got to do. Even just try these ones for first. If, you, if, if these feel good for you, don't change them. These are what I did on day one and I haven't changed them a bit because it took me about an hour of running around in circles trying to get the things perfect. And these were great for me. So yes, keep these or just adjust them slightly. Now, in regards, guys, to your graphics and performance mode or fidelity mode, that's completely up to you too. I can't play fidelity mode in this game because it's just so much going on. The frame rates, it just destroys my eyes. I have to be in 60 frames per second, even if that means sacrificing resolution, which is how I play. So, yes, performance is definitely the better one, in my opinion, 60 frames. Uh, but fidelity with ray tracing could be good for you. Just try them out again 60 frames performance is the way forward in my opinion no nope, i need to go back into that why did i just come out of it okay so in regards to motion blur turn this off people it will make you sick depth of field i mean i was this was recommended for me to turn off because as it says there when it's on it impacts the gpu performance and this game i actually experienced a lot of that within uh, combat when i'm using certain fire spells and there's a quite a few enemies attacking me i did notice uh, performance drop off so I've just turned it off I haven't really noticed any difference in regards to depth of field and the way things look if I'm honest with you but hey just turn it off and see how it feels for you this uh, increases the filmic realism by emulating the color fringe by a real camera lens turn this off don't need to be on and film grain guys turn this off too this is a game this isn't a movie that don't need to be on either but yeah these are the settings um i go with and they are absolutely perfect but yes the main one for me which is unbelievable in regards to combat this one right here this one is beautiful 
Uh, so yes, guys, do what you got to do. Try these out and let me know what you think. If you have any more recommendations or tips for players, new players who are picking up this game, because still so many people are playing this game, a brand new player, please leave them a comment down below so they can read it and let them know what they need to do. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Try these out and let me know. And hopefully I will see you on that next one.